Greetings, demons, and welcome to my reaction, breakdown, thoughts, all the usual nonsense for the first teaser trailer of Secret Level. This is a new anthology series coming to Prime Video, which is including 15 different video game franchises as a part of it. And uh, yeah, you may have already seen me cover part of this as part of Warhammer Weekly. Uh, because, yeah, Warhammer is included here, but there is a lot of cool stuff. I've already seen this trailer um, in small view, so this is going to be my first look at it in full detail. So let's just jump straight into it and check out Secret Level. Not the leader of a cult, rabbit with sex. Okay, starting off immediately with Warhammer stuff. I'm trying to tell, what are they? Were they Tyranids they were fighting? The blue is unusual, because usually turn is a green. Okay, so that's sh uh, Shifu? I'm not sure about that one. Okay, from uh, Love, Death, and Robots. Good. Looks kind of like... Is it that is Destiny? You. You will open the door. Okay, I'm not going to recognize all of these. Um, the chosen. Oh, wait. Timefall? Maybe? All I can hope. Okay. Oh, got a big dragon there. I don't, I don't recognize everything. Oh. Oh, what is that series? Mega Man? I, I know that series. Oh, we saw Kratos for a second there. We definitely saw a Titan. Okay, so some of this stuff I am definitely just missing the reference to. That is Mega Man. That is so cool. Okay. Got some space. Space fly. That's definitely Shifu. I think it's called Shifu. So, so it looks almost like Call of Duty, some of that. Um, oh, okay, we've got a full list of the different. There was sheep who was there. Um, you have a game to play. Okay. Secret level, a revolution game gaming anthology series coming December tenth as well. That looks like a ghost. It's not like a normal ghost, but that looks like a ghost to me. Right. Okay. Uh, let's jump back into that. We'll throw loop on, uh, and we'll mute it for a moment. Because, yeah, this looks amazing. Um, I'm trying to... Is it... No, they're not Tyranids. Are they uh, Beastmen? I think it might be Beastmen. That, that's cool if it is. Um, they're pulling something. But yeah, the fact that this opens with Warhammer, I think that says a lot. Um, and that's definitely Sheafy. I'm going to turn off the subtitles just while we're going through it visually. So yeah, from the visionaries behind Love, Death and Robots. Love, Death and Robots is really good. Uh, yeah, anthology series. I, I think it does say somewhere that it is 15, episode, uh, 15 episodes long. Um, I'm not sure if we actually see it in here. I, I remember that from the article. 15 stories inspired by our favourite games. There we go. Oh, this looks great. Yeah, that look, kind of looks like... What is that? There's a PlayStation exclusive. I can't remember what it's called. This is... Ah, oh, it's bugging me what that is. That, that big robot. I recognise it. It's got like a, a, a pretty generic name, it's like War Guardian or something. It's, it's I can't remember. I'll I'll check in the list and see what exa exactly what we've got. The Mega Man stuff looks cool. Like I'm I'm not the biggest Mega Man fan, but seeing Mega Man just makes me excited. So even the, the like the Chifu stuff being like that style, like like the game is, is pretty interesting because a lot of this seems to be more of a realistic style. Okay, did I just see Spelunky listed in the? Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump just a little bit into the future. I'm going to go through that frame by frame and just get a list of all the shows that they've listed, of all the games that they've listed, sorry. Uh, and we'll come back and kind of, kind of speculate on what there is exactly within that. Okay, so in order, what we actually see in the little, you know, flash up of different logos, Warhammer, which obviously we know there's 40k stuff being shown right here, Unreal Tournament, so obviously a little bit from Epic, that's kind of cool. New World Eternum, uh, that's one of the Amazon games, like, originals, uh, which is kind of interesting, you know, it's, it's good that that seems to be the only one of those that they've actually done anything with, it's good that they are actually getting other, you know, developers and publishers involved. Uh, PlayStation, just in general, so I'm assuming that's where, like, the Kratos st stuff comes from. Um, this energy really reminds me of, I can't remember, it was a launch title for the PS4, I know it existed previously is a PlayStation exclusive. It's one that I've never played, but I'd recognize the the look of it. It's just kind of interesting. Um Dungeons and Dragons is also in here, which I, I can't say I've recognized anything. There's the dragon obviously, 
which kind of is you know Dungeons and Dragons, but I I wouldn't know specifically. We have the Outer Worlds two specifically, which um I for one didn't even know there was an Outer Worlds two like coming out or already released or anything. I have not finished Outer Worlds one yet. That's still on my to do list. But uh, Outer Worlds apparently game representation, which is pretty cool. Pac Man, which I don't know where that is supposed to be, but yeah, apparently Pac Man's here. We've got Honor of Kings, which I think might be this that we keep returning to, um, with like the medieval setting. Uh, not familiar with that game really, but uh, I think I've definitely seen it a little bit, so I'm I'm assuming that's probably the case. We'll jump back right to the start with uh, with this, but um, yeah. Otherwise, there's Armored Core, and that was the one with the big mech suit. So yeah, I I I've played an Armored Core game, and I think it was a DS Armored Core game or something like that. Well, that might be a different thing, but. Either way, Big Max, love to see it. That's something very different compared to a lot of this, which even though a lot of this is sci-fi, uh, there's not much of it that's that kind of sci-fi, which is kind of cool. Uh, Mega Man, obviously, which we've we've seen a few times within this trailer, which very excited for that one. I think it looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of that cancelled Maverick Hunter game that uh, that they had, that they were working on, which was like a, a, a dark, gritty reimagining of, of Mega Man. Uh, we have Exodus, not a game I'm familiar with. Uh, this could be any of the shots, uh, but yeah, Exodus apparently, Spelunky, which we do see a dwarf um, towards the end, which I feel like could be something to do with that, but I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure there. Uh, Crossfire, which is a like a, a free to play shooter, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's like a race, like a driving shooter. It's like a post apocalyptic world, which could definitely create some good stories. Uh, Concord, which another one that I unfortunately don't know, and then as I I've been pointing out Shifu is also within the selection. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff going on. But, yeah, just uh, running through this a little bit. So, obviously, we've got what appears to be Space Marines. Oh, uh, well, definitely is Space Marines, but, like, specifically, I think they're Ultramarines uh, killing what I I can only assume are Beastmen. Um, so, Chaos Cultists, essentially. Uh, then, what else do we have? This shot is definitely Shifu. I, I feel pretty confident in that. This is Outer Worlds coded. Now that I know Outer Worlds is in this, I'd lean on this being Outer Worlds. It very much looks like that aesthetic. Um, this one I'm not as sure about. This could really be anything. Honestly, this could even be something that just connects the different universes. I'm not actually sure. Uh, what else have we got? So this I think is, um, what is it called? King of Honor, oh, on, Honor of Kings. I think that's what this one is uh, that we keep returning to. I'm not familiar with that game series, but I'd, I'd say that's probably the case. This is definitely from Warhammer. Uh, you can tell by the bolts in just above the eyebrow. Um, that is something that uh, Space Marines do when they've completed campaigns and completed, completed missions, stuff like that. It's also for like, years of service, all kinds of stuff like that. Captains have them, uh, lieutenants, that, that sort of thing. Higher, higher ranking officials within the Space Marines. This one interests me because this very much to me looks like either, and especially with the little floating orb as well. I don't know if we see that in this shot. Yeah, this looks to me like something Destiny related. Destiny obviously isn't listed as one of the um, games, but I guess uh, this could easily be something like Unreal Tournament. Um, with me not knowing anything about them, it could be Exodus, it could be uh, Concord. I'm not actually sure. Uh, but yeah, it definitely looks interesting to me. Um... This one I'm not so sure about. This one, again, could be something like Honor of Kings. Uh, just kind of breaking down what I'm what I'm expecting from some of these. Uh, even, like, this could be Exodus. I, I say, not knowing what some of these are, like, at all. Uh, these could be all over the place. Uh, not so sure about that one. Once again, Honor of Kings, I'm thinking. This looks like it could probably be um, the Outer Worlds, but honestly, could be any any number of things. Uh, this, I think, is from Armored Core, because I think this is the same guy we see later with the big mech suit. Uh, if we jump ahead a little bit. Yeah, because he's climbing to a suit there. Uh, not sure about that one. So this, as I say, I think this is something to do with the PlayStation collaboration. Um, I, I can't think what that series is called, but I'm sure someone in the comments below will be able to point it out. Looks very interesting. I like the, the like pink and blue palette. Is very nice for this one. Uh, this is interesting. I'm not sure what game this represents, but this looks like maybe a sadder story, which could be uh, a little bit of a tonal tonal shift. Also, is that this this uh, 
face looks familiar. I don't know if it's because I recognise this character or if it's something to do with, like, maybe the actor is someone that's actually really famous. I'm just blanking on who it is. But I, I keep every time I, I see this face, I'm like, I know this guy. I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, I might just be misremembering or I might be confusing it with a different person. This, the more I look at it, is definitely going to be Dungeons and Dragons with the big dragon and everything. Very nice. Some more, more ambiguous stuff. We do have this one, which is the Armored Core. Uh, the Armored Core mech suit, which is very, very cool. There's actually two different mech suits in the shot here, which is good to see. A bit of, uh, bit of, I, I say, I, this very much screams uh, Titanfall to me. But I think we do see an actual Titan later in the in the final montage. Um, yeah, I'm going to skip a little bit ahead. We've got the Mega Man stuff. Very much looks like Mega Man. Uh, interesting to see him in this sort of graphical style. Uh, this could be Outer Worlds. I'm not. I'm. I'm just kind of throwing things out there as to what things could be. Uh, Izanagi. Uh, I, I, I'd say this is probably Armored Wars, but I don't actually know for sure. Armored Core, sorry, not Armored Wars. Uh, that's a different series. Um, not sure about this one. Here we go. We've got Kratos. So this is definitely one of the things. It's weird. He seems to be in a modern day setting. So I, I wonder what they're going to be doing with that, whether this is going to essentially just be an episode dedicated to just advertising PlayStation. Um... This kind of looks like it could be the Spelunky stuff, though, though I'm not sure. The, the art style also kind of lends itself to being Shifu. Uh, I'm not really noticing anything in particular. It does kind of remind me of, of Spelunky, but I'm not really seeing anything that's, like, obvious. Um, not sure on that character. We've got what looks like another Armored Core mech. More characters in close-up. These kind of look like the robots from Titanfall, and I guess also from... Uh, oh... God, what's the what's the series called? The uh, the the battle royale game that's set in the same universe. They kind of look like the robots from that, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I think there's more armored core stuff. I could be wrong there, of course, but that's what I'm thinking. Uh, this interests me. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, it'd be very funny if this is how they represent like, ghosts in Pac-Man or something, but I, I don't think that's the case. Uh, this December, of course. Anything else? So we've got a better, better shot of Pac-Man. Looks very interesting. Uh, I wonder how he's going to look fully suited because we don't actually see that. But uh, definitely something cool there. More Space Marine stuff. A lot more Space Marine stuff, actually. Like, that is most of the trailer, I feel. Um, Blood Soak Guy, I think that's probably going to be something like Honor, the, Honor of Kings. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Uh, Honor of Tournament does kind of have this sort of aesthetic, but I don't think this is Armored Tournament. Uh, not sure about this. It could honestly be any of the various franchises. Same with this one with the uh, bionic bionic legs, the augmented legs. Um, this one looks interesting because this to me looks. I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell because it almost looks like that's a viaduct. But then you look to the left and you've got like a pirate ship. I'm not. I'm really not sure what to make of this one. Uh, what else? We've got Shifu. I think again. Hmm. Yeah, definitely uh, Dungeons and Dragons looking stuff. Very interesting. This one, um, I'm not so sure about. This might be Crossfire. Uh, the Crossfire definitely has a bit more of a cartoony aesthetic, so I don't know if they take that into consideration. Uh, more Honor of Kings stuff. Shifu, I'm pretty sure. A little bit of variety of everything. Yeah, just jumping ahead a little bit. So yeah, this is where all the different logos are. So I'm not actually completely familiar with everything here, but uh, yeah, very nice. Then we've got... Like an alien type guy. Uh, we've got what I'd assume would be. Um, I'm not actually sure. Maybe a psyker. Uh, something for the Warhammer stuff anyway. Uh, that thing. Well that guy sorry. That guy. That guy. There's a lot of this sort of stuff. That This is an interesting shot. I'm not sure what this will be for. But that's a very interesting little uh, visual there. And yeah. One last shot of, of this guy. Which I'm uh, yeah, not sure what this belongs to. But. Looks pretty good. And then there we go. Secret Level. A revolutionary gaming anthology series. So yeah that is everything. So it's this trailer is great. I'm obviously going to have it linked in the description below. If you want to check it out yourself. Um, and obviously the main, the main reason. The main draw for me. Is of course going to be the Warhammer stuff. And I'll probably be talking a bit more on the channel. About that when uh, this episode comes out. But uh, yeah. Overall this just looks really good. And of course it's Prime. You know, everyone has Prime nowadays. It's it's good that we are getting a lot more gaming stuff on Prime, and so especially when Prime Gaming has been kind of nerfed as much as it has in recent years. But, uh, you know, with Amazon Luna and everything, there's a lot on offer for gamers. 
uh, on Prime, and this is just this is another example. Very cool with the variety of different games that they're going to be representing. Um, yeah, just a lot of cool stuff on offer. But yeah, in any case, that is going to be it for my reaction breakdown, all that kind of jazz for Secret Level, a new Prime video show. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the and ring the bell so you never upload. Otherwise, comment below thoughts and feelings about this show. Are you going to be checking out? And uh, yeah, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye. Look at the screen, you'll be fine. Cultures of the sex, but worlds of fun. I just want to tell.